All right, just another quick video exposing Rich Pankowski, this time showing that his doctrine is Jesuitical. It's Jesuit and Catholic doctrine regarding salvation and justification. I've said in the past that I believe it's possible that Rich Pankowski is a Jesuit coadjutor, uh, part of the way is, which is a lot of his behavior would be that of a, of a coadjutor, but also his doctrine on salvation lines up perfectly with Rome. What do I mean by that? Well, because his false gospel is essentially you're continually keeping yourself saved by perpetual holiness. You know what I mean? And if you sin once, you'll lose your salvation. You know? And I'm going to show you that that is taught in the uh, Council of Trent. It was, uh, it was presided over by Jesuits, the canons and the creeds of the Council of Trent, particularly the sixth session on justification. You know? uh, Pinkowski's doctrine is Jesuitical, and you're going to see that. His heresies line up perfectly with, with Rome and with the Jesuit order as do many of the other street papists he hangs out, papists he hangs out with. Hence why I call them street papists, because they're just going out there preaching Roman Catholicism. You know, with you know, a few exceptions, obviously they don't believe in you know, baptismal regeneration or all those other heresies. But when it comes to salvation, it's not about Jesus Christ saving you, it's about you uh, keeping yourself saved by your holiness. That's what it comes down to. That's, that's their false gospel, and that's the false gospel of the Jesuit order. So, like I said, the idea of perpetual holiness to, to, to stay saved or to be saved is in fact a Jesuit heresy. Let me show you that. This is in the Council of Trent. Canons and decrees of the Council of Trent. This is the sixth session, canon number 20. says, If anyone saith that a man who is justified and, and uh, now, sorry, and how perfect soever is not bound to observe the commandments of, the, of God and of the church, but only to believe as if indeed the gospel were a bare and absolute promise of eternal life without the condition of observing the commandments, let him be anathema. You know, it's saying you're anathema if you basically have to observe the commandments. See, it's talking about keeping the commandments for salvation. Okay, Costco will be like, oh, we don't, we don't, we don't teach that. Okay. Well, let's go down to canon number 24. This is Canons and Decrees of the Council of Trent, uh, sixth session, canon number 24. It says, If anyone saith that the justice received is not preserved and also increased before God through good works, but that the said works are, me are merely the fruits and signs of justification obtained without the cause and increase thereof, let it be anathema. See, denial of the... Because see, the, there's this easy believism, which is also a heresy, and you have these hyper, you know, self-righteous work salvation heretics like Minkowski and the other street preachers. Both sides are teaching Jesuitical doctrine because both sides uh, deny the scriptural fact that of the new birth. You know, the Holy Ghost works in you, changes you, cleans up sin in your life. You know, but it's not to be saved or to stay saved. But you see, in in the in uh, Pinkowski and his group, and many of the street papists, street papists he, he uh, hangs out with. Uh, those the the holiness they do is not is not the Holy Ghost working in me. You know, uh, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. They're actually they're basically perpetually working to stay saved. That's what it comes down to. And they believe if you willfully sin once, you've lost your salvation. That is Jesuit doctrine, as we're, as we see right there. You know, it's uh, it's uh, preserved and increased through God by good works. Also, the the thing of denial of imputed righteousness, the imputed righteousness of Christ is also Jesuit doctrine. This is the Canons and Decrees of the Council of Trent, 6th session, canon number 11. If anyone saith that men are justified either by the sole imputation of the justice of Christ or by the sole remission of sins to the exclusion of grace and the charity which is poured out, poured forth in their hearts and by the Holy Ghost and is uh, inherent of them or that even the grace whereby we are justified is only the favor of God, let it be anathema. See, uh, you know, the sole imputation of justice of Christ. See, in the in the Catholic Church, it's self righteousness. See, salvation was not finished at the cross when Jesus Christ died on the cross, buried, rose again. Their salvation is continual process of, of holiness and everything else and, and living right. And you should live right. You should live holy without a doubt. You know. But if you're doing that to, to, to keep yourself saved, you're you're lost. Plain and simple. You're just you're a uh, crypto Jesuit, or, you, or one way to put it is you're spiritually a Jesuit in terms of your. Uh, false salvation. But you see the idea of, of no imputation of Christ's righteousness is taught by a lot of the street preachers, Pinkowski, you know, Reuben Israel, who is now dead and in hell, as, as well as many of these other SOPA, you know, SOPA, you know, cultists. It's false doctrine. It's Jesuitical doctrine of self-righteousness. Also, denial of eternal security is also uh, Jesuit doctrine. This is in the Canons and Decrees of the Council of Trent, 6th session. This is Canon 27. If anyone saith that there is no mortal sin but that of infidelity, or that the grace once received is not lost by any other sin, however grievous and enormous, save by that of infidelity, let him be anathema. 
Exactly. That, that pretty much almost word for word is what these other guys teach. If you sin, like you'll hear them say, like you sin, you've lost your salvation. They'll tell people, you know, other ministers, you know, who are actually lost because they're also these, these street papists. But they, they believe if you lose yourself, if you sin once, you've lost your salvation. You get your salvation back, you lose it, you get it back, you lose it. That's, that's what these guys are, are preaching on the street. And that's where they're getting it from, the Jesuit order. This is the in, uh, canon, Canons and Decrees of the Council of Trent, 6th session, Canon 23. If anyone saith that a man once justified can sin no more nor lose grace, and that therefore he falls in sins, he, sorry, he that falls in sins was never truly justified, or on the other hand is able during his whole life to avoid all sins, uh, except that of the venial, uh, except by special privilege of God as the church holds in regards to the Blessed Virgin, let him be anathema. Now obviously sinless perfection is a heresy, without a doubt. But notice that you lose grace, you know, denying eternal security. This is in the Canons and Decrees of the Council of Trent, 6th session, Canon 25. If anyone say that in every good work, the just sins venally, at least, or uh, which is more intolerable, uh, still more mortally, and the consequently deserves eternal punishments, and that for this cause uh, only he is not damned, but that God does not impute those works unto damnation, let him be anathema. Again, you sin once you've lost your salvation. It's all about you keeping yourself saved by your your uh, self righteousness. It's not about Jesus Christ paid for my sins and the Holy Ghost is cleaning me up. No, it's all about you and your your righteousness, your works, you keeping yourself saved. Now these these papists in the street preacher movement, they won't outright they won't outright. They, I mean, they they uh, will deny that they teach work salvation. But if you're having to live holy to stay saved, you're you're working your way to heaven, and you're teaching Jesuit heresy. That's plain and simple. And these are just a few examples of the of the Jesuit uh, doctrine, as well as the, the there's various Jesuit tactics that Minkowski does on the streets as well. He's an agent provocateur, possible Jesuit coadjutor, just like the whole Calvinist cult, the Westboro Baptist Calvinist cult. You know, basically meant to, to uh, stir up strife and division and persecute actual Bible believers, the body of Christ. So I wanted to show you guys that. Uh, don't be deceived by Rich Pankowski, the warrior for Antichrist. He calls himself Warriors for Christ. His Christ is the Antichrist, just like that of the Jesuit order. So I want to show you guys that. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.